Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. A proper treat especial, a Friday fuck around. You know the boss got the red file folder and Sharpie, dark Sharpie, importante walking around like he's king shit of Turd Island. Hair straight back right around 11 o'clock. Already oddly got his golfing slacks on. Got to go meet a vendor. That's right. We're going to go into the scrap bin and take out some scrap <laughs> and do a government job. The coolest shit known to man has always been made on the Friday shift. Getting ready for your cross shift. Nobody works, nobody gets hurt. Just doing these arts and crafts projects. What you'll find at yard sales and estate sales everywhere. Gem encrusted gem hammers and all kinds of goofy kind of tools and jigs, what you can't buy in the store. Somebody made. Chances are they made it on company time. Is it stealing? Yeah, or is it a blue collar tax? Who am I to judge? Ugh. Come on, Schwartz. <laughs> You believe they were gonna throw that out? As an added bonus, we got the Duke Claw working on Yon Tin Lizzie. Hold together, baby. The Millennium Falcon. Hold together. She'll hold together. Gonna... We're trying to get some more storage together, so this don't mind the, 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 you know. the siren sweet sound of the Duke Claw in the background. Well, so we got the Duclaw running interference on the straw boss. I'm of the Tolkien school when it comes to bosses. I like diapers. Always on your ass and invariably full of shit. The most improper job of any man is bossing other men. Not one in a million is fit for it. Least of all those who seek the opportunity. <laughs> eh? The safety lady doesn't even look me in the eye now since she come in the shop with open hoof shoes. We'll get the Fusion 360. Confusion 360 fired up. Having a little trouble with it booting. I guess it can't get on the internet. We're going to uh, do a quick little drawing. <laughs> These might be past the statute of limitations. There we go. Now, for perspicacity's sake, we'll do some machinist incense. Try and keep the gremlins out of the Confusion 360. Keep her running. He who finishes firstest with the brownest nose wins. Ain't that right, Prudence? Oh! Ephemeral, yet opaque, constantly changing, and yet always the fucking same. Riddle me this again, why cloud computing is a good idea?
Oh, right, because subscriptions. That's the facing operation done. It's an untested program and there is a problem. Have a look at that. Oopsie doodle. Turn down the rapid to 25% just in case it wants to drill through the center of the earth. I might be able to smash the feed hole just after it crashes. It's pre-drilling some holes with the spotting drill, carbide spotting drill. It's a 90 degree spotting drill, so I was using it in copper. It's been holding up really well as a twist drill. It's got a long flutes on it, inching, inching a little bit. Sure, there's some reason why I shouldn't be using it, but for the life of me, I can't think of one. Easier, faster, better. We're coming in with a three flute half inch rougher. Why rougher? Just because I got it. Uh, pretty much for production or larger runs, more important parts. Use the spoon cutters radius on the tip and just straight, not that corn cob rougher. I think people are getting away from using roughers, especially in aluminum. It seems to be working pretty good. We're gonna decrease the feed rate a little bit. Actually, no, spindle speed should be good. Uh, no, it's actually fairly slow. We're good. Might have a bit of a howl to it on account of the fixturing. Mercury being in retrograde. The alignment of the tongue and bung. Who can say? It's the thing about machining, the feeds and speeds are all 
interdependent variables with the fixturing and the material and the quality of the coolant. One thing I discovered running the CNC as a neophyte, or maybe a little beyond neophyte now, uh, I muddled through just about everything. I'm not the most efficient at anything. The good machinist seems to me, they're not so worried about the end product. They're more focused on just the steps. That is the process of machining. They're not so worried about time at the first that's the boss's worry. We're just focused on the process, and it is a process. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I think that's why machinists seem a little odd. They might have some differential character tweaks that allows them to focus on just the process instead of getting through the bloody thing. Now we're boring, drill, drilling. It's a drilling step, but it's boring. Now that's gonna be a special little tweak there. I, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. It occurred to me, that'd be pretty useful. I've never seen anything like it myself. They, you can't buy it, you got to make it. Oh, we shanked out. That's why it got all mangled. Ah, ah we ran out of cutting flute there at the depth. I didn't take that into account. When we make this for realsies, I'll uh, take that into account. Plunge down. I got the plunge setting feed rate real low, just in case it goes into some material. Again, this isn't optimized for production. It's uh, it's a Friday fuck around. A little bitly engraver dingle dangling out there. It has to be kind of long to get into that pocket. That's one side done. Some friction stir welding happening there. Should have a look at the tool. High stakes, whoopsie doodle. Focus, thank you. Ah, minor fuck up there. I've had worse. No low earth orbits. Can't be all bad. 
thing is about these CNC machines, if you're not 100% certain, it's going to work. If you're not certain it's going to work, it ain't going to work. Act 2, wherein Romeo sticks his run-a-shot ruby tip proboscis in yonder bore in order to get the proper results. You ask two machinists how to do something and you'll get 20 different, you get them arguing about 20 different options. But I think the best way in order to pick up this periphery contour is to single probe the Z height into G55 and then do the bore. It's gonna be a little tricky because it's not a contiguous hole. There's some holes around the periphery. One thing I discovered, you wanna pick up a bore, it has to be smaller, or it has to be larger than the ruby tip, the ruby tip being a quarter inch ball. However, if you have a small hole, say it's a quarter inch, what you can do is just raise it up so instead of hitting on the maximum diameter of the ball, it hits down further. If you were watching close, you saw a little stutter step at the end of the cycle because it goes from where it began to where the actual center is. So if you, this is a little trick, if you're concerned that there was a piece of schmoo or it didn't probe properly, something tweaked out, what you can do is probe it again and you shouldn't see that stutter step at the end of the cycle. Like so. Perfect.
What even the fuck is it? This is it's a major award. Have to hold your hold your soap in the shower or something like that, or what? <laughs> you don't want to be dropping that soap around here. Your, your life boy, your life boy soap. <laughs> Therein lies the beauty of Friday Fuck Around. You can make shit, what you can't buy because somebody have to lose their shirt doing it. I probably don't need to remind you that this whole place runs on stickers and patrons chucking a couple bucks into the beer fund. I tell you, partner, if I had to fight that budget troll on the regular, I wouldn't be making too many of these here vajayas. I appreciate your help, is what I'm awkwardly driving at. And as such, I'm going to run a bunch of these. Now, I know you don't want it right now, but wait, there's more. Now, where's my Sharpie? Bah. Oh, you'll do. Maybe not you, but it strikes me as odd that the highest compliment you can pay somebody making cool shit, they make something cool, and you offer it to them, wow, you should sell those. That's the highest form of compliment you can give. It's a little bit odd, because selling something entails that you got to make a profit on it, which entails that you, you got all these constraints. You got to ship it on time. You got to do this on time. You got to so many constraints to making cool shit, so it becomes not so much about making cool shit, but about making the money, that filthy, filthy lucre. And if it doesn't sell well, you lose your shirt. I don't need any help losing my shirt. I can do that all on my own. So if you're a patron, go ahead and email me at Town Pump, which is the CNC, what you guys pay for with your beer money. Some of it goes to the Carbide Fund, some of it goes to the beer fund, some of it goes to destroying tools, and the rest of it gets wasted. And I will send you one of these up until we run out of money. Make sense? <laughs> oh yeah, let me show you this. This is fucking cool as frig. Sharp A? Eh? Huh? Pencil? Eh? Huh? What's that hang bedang for? Dirty crusty bolt. Forward. Clean as a whistle. Work better in my head. You know what we need instead of the brass brush? We need one of those OT three-quarter plumbing brushes. Uh huh? Uh huh? First time tight, second time all right. Skookum little machine billet aluminum Carner Gack collector. What with the itty bitty bolt cleaner and the medium bolt cleaner. Won't fly away or bend like a piece of tin in the wind because it's fair skookum. Sharp A holder, pencil holder in the dead spot of your box. Huh? 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 Well, maybe make that a blind hole. That's a major award! Fuck! Look at that, even got a friction fit. <laughs> it's 
stupid like a fox.